So alignment equals impulse equals timing equals happy. It's timing. And your inner being is the master of timing. Because there are so many things you could do, and it's just endless. But when you get an impulse, whew, and the more often you do it, the more you'll feel like doing that until you can go through a day where everywhere you go, the day was like that for Esther yesterday. She traveled by herself. And as she traveled, everywhere she went, it was like a door opened. There was someone there to greet her and to smile and to help her everywhere she went along the way. It was her timing. She drove her own car to the park and ride and the bus was right there and a man took her bags out and there was a place for her to park right there. So she got right on the bus and then they drove her and one other person to the airport rather than waiting for the bus to fill up. And Esther thought, oh, I really like how things are working out. And then the bus let her off right in front of the sky cap and she gave him her bags and off they went and she got right to the gate in the most comfortable fashion everything about it was just unfolding perfectly and then she had this wonderful flight two wonderful flights and when she got to the baggage claim her driver was not there he was not there with his sign and he wasn't answering the number that she'd been given and when she did reach him this was the first sign of something that looked like it was out of sync the driver said, I'm supposed to be there at 2.30, right? And Esther said, well, my note says 2 o'clock and I am here. And how long will it take you to get here? Well, let me call you back. And he called back and now he's kind of making up some reasons that he can't be there. And Esther said, it's all right. I'll just take a cab. So she went out to the curb and there was a cab right there. And she stood there for a moment. And the woman who was assigning the cabs to people was distracted by something else that was going on. And for just a moment, Esther thought, you really should pay attention to me because your job is me. <laughs> but she was doing something else. And so a cab driver who was sitting right there saw Esther sitting there and he came and undid the rope and escorted Esther to his cab. And he got in trouble for that because that's not his job. But as Esther got into the cab, she said to him, well, that was very nice. Thank you very much. And then they began talking about the most wonderful things. And then Esther said to him, you are a very strong man with powerful good intentions and life is going very well for you. I can feel it. And he said, is that why I feel you all over my arms? They were such energy friends right away. There could not have been a better thing that had happened to either one of them. They were guided to be together for a 40 minute drive that was delightful for both of them. And what looked like was supposed to happen that didn't happen wasn't the best thing to happen. And after a little while of just relaxing and taking it as it comes and trusting that the universe is always doing what's best for you and let that be your default decision about things that things are working out for me. No matter how it looks, things are always working out for me, no matter how it looks. And to the degree that I allow it here and now to the degree that I am willing to look for things that are satisfying here and now, then there's no end end until you feel like you've been on a magic carpet ride. Like, could this day have been any better? Could I have had better timing? Could I've had more pleasure? Could I've had more satisfaction? Could I have had better timing? And the answer to that is yes, probably, but this was really, 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 really good. In other words, the more you acknowledge the good timing, the better the timing continues to be.